So my beautiful people, I am back with yet another Elden Ring rune farming video and this one guys is probably one of the easier methods in farming runes because it's another one of those things where you throw yourself off the map and just keep swinging on your horse. But this one guys requires no parkouring whatsoever and you also don't need to be in the, uh, the Silver River. Mogwin Dynasty, Mausoleum uh, area, you don't have to be here. So, where you need to be is to do this is up in this area right here guys and I'll explain all right now. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so, this this town right here, the Ordina town right here, um, you actually need to come up to this, this spot. Uh, to get up here guys, you need the Halic Tree Medallion, you get the one half from Commander Nile within Castle Soul, the other half comes from an NPC back down here. Um, so yeah, but if you don't know about the Halic Tree Medallion, I'm pretty sure most people do by now. But if you don't guys, I'll link a video in the video description, it's called 13 Secret Areas and Hidden Paths, it'll show you exactly how to get up here. And also what you need to do when you're here. Because there's further instruction you need to do within this town to unlock a seal which we need to do that first and I'll quickly explain that as we go up here so that's the actual the greatest point you want to come to guys as you can see right there um, and you need to come up this way now like I said there will be a seal here the seal is blocking up here guys so when you first come here if you haven't been here already there's a seal blocking this door you can see the portal there but there's a seal in your way you need to break that seal and to do that guys you need to come to this little ever gel right here and what you'll do is guys I'm pretty sure you use a stone sword key or you may not use a stone I can't actually remember if you need to use a stone sword key there but either way there'll be a guide link down below for this anyway you'll go here and need to light basically four beacons four candles um, it's quite easy it's straightforward guys it's nothing difficult what to whatsoever but once you do that you get teleported back and you can then go up here which is the path and this path will take you to the portal up here will take you to this area here which is a great area as well by the way but that's not for today's video today's video is a rune farm which you use and do from this spot right next to the portal you know the ones where you jump off and keep swinging that's all you gotta do you just gotta run this way and what you need to do actually is you need to run and jump and time that second jump as late as possible so you do one jump another jump and then swing that's what you gotta do guys and it's as simple as that if you jump if you, if you drop that second jump too soon you will just fall to your death uh, but if you time it perfectly well actually you don't even have to be perfect uh, but if you, as long as you just wait as, as long as you can wait so probably a second or so and you should be good but like I said if you double jump uh, too quick you'll fall to your death you won't get this this falling animation where you just keep swinging if you don't know what I'm doing here uh, because I'm swinging I'm actually uh, cancelling out the death animation and what's actually happening is because I'm falling and continuously falling the actual the map will despawn meaning all the enemies fall to their death meaning I get their runes and this I, I, the first time I did this I think I got like 130 the second time I got like 110 so hey yeah it's between 110 and 130 every basically a minute because once you do this once you get that big chunk of runes you can fast travel back to that grace rinse and repeat guys come back here do it again it really is that simple guys um so yeah this is the the latest rune farm we have found i mean like there's so many of these guys i mean still yes the margwin dynasty area there you go i got 103 then so that's about average about 100k that's the average guys once you do that simply just fast travel back and you can just run back there and do it again it really is but yeah obviously the margwin dynasty area with a relic sword is the most efficient farm in the game but for people who haven't completed the game yet who haven't got the relic sword yet who are still continually uh just searching for things like me i mean i've i still haven't even started new game plus guys i'm 500 hours in i want to find absolutely everything there is to find and if you're like me yeah well this is for you this is for you i got the relic sword uh via in the elden beast um yeah went to cash in his remembrance so i could use it simple as that but hey if you haven't got that far yet and you're still continuously farming the game looking for them items you don't want to go into new game plus yet this could be a rune farm just for you yeah so yes guys and it, like i said it's as simple as 
this run into this spot right in the corner and double jumping but obviously timing that second jump of the double jump so one two as, as late as you can do it guys as late as you can do it that's what you want to do because like i said if you do it too quick you will fall to your death so run jump and jump again and then just swing it really is that simple guys and there we have it 100k runes every what 30 to one minute 30 seconds to a minute easy as that guys Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out on Ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people. I will see you on that next one.